The aim of this video is to revise some important rules involving similar shapes. Now these two shapes are meant to be similar. They're only sketches, but they are similar solids. In other words, this one is an enlargement of this one and vice versa. And what we can see is we're given two heights, a height of 8 and a height of 12. So I can find how much times bigger this shape is than the first one to find the scale factor. And this will be a side scale factor. So if I do 12 divided by 8, I get 1.5. This shape is 1.5 times bigger than the smaller one. Now we're asked to find out the area of the top of the larger shape and the volume of the smaller one. However, here's the really important thing. We don't just times these measurements by 1.5. There's two really important rules to know about. As follows, if I know the side scale factor, I can find the area scale factor by squaring. And 1.5 squared just equals 2.25. So whilst the sides are 1.5 times as big, the areas are 2.25 times as big. And then to find the volume scale factor, I don't square the side scale factor, I cube the side scale factor. 1.5 cubed, which will work out, is 3.375. So, what does this mean? Well, in simplistic terms, these are the scale factors. So, from 8 to 12, I times by 1.5. So, to find out the new area, I multiply the area by the area scale factor. So, if I do the Fourier and times by the area scale factor, so 3 lots of... 2.25 gives me 6.75 centimetres squared. So the area of the top of the larger shape is 6.75 centimetre squared. Now to find the volume of the smaller shape, the problem now is we're going backwards. We're shrinking it down. So the only difference now is, is that rather than times by the scale factor, we divide by the scale factor. So I knew the volume was 42. The volume scale factor is 3.375, but it's not getting bigger, it's getting smaller. So rather than times by 3.375, I divide by 3.375. So 42 divided by 3.375 is 12.4 reoccurring. So 12.4 centimetres cubed. So again, the key things here is I can use the sides to find the side scale factor. That's what we times or divide by. However, for area, we have to square the area scale factor. For volume, we have to cube it. And if we're going from small to large, we times by the scale factor. If we're going from large back to small, we divide by the scale factor. 